Good morning, Destiny, and welcome to probably the most useful video you will ever see in your entire life. Or, or nearly, maybe. Um, so, today we're going to go to one of my absolute favourite tools. Um, we are going to talk about another Destiny Recipes tool. This one is the Vault Cleaner. Uh, the Vault Cleaner is revolutionary. Uh, you cannot understand how much this has helped me despite me quite clearly being in uh, in quite a bad state in terms of my vault i'm i'm not in a great place i'll be honest um especially considering how full of my characters are as well um but this tool this tool will help you get into a better place than i am and you cannot imagine i'd have multiple accounts if it wasn't for this tool so we are going to jump right in and start talking about how you config this tool. Basically, you say what you want to do, what you're looking for. Vault Cleaner will then take you through all of your stuff really quickly, grouping it, showing you what it's similar to, etc., etc., and getting you to a place where you can decide, this is the stuff I want to trash. This is the stuff that's gone. This is just shards that's taking up space. So... We're going to start off looking at the config and you have kind of two sides to it. There are weapon options and armor options. And the most basic config is, I don't want to deal with armor right now. Um, I don't want to deal with weapons right now. At this point, it's hard to say what you're actually using it for. So let's have a look at weapons first because actually weapons is the one that I use this for the most. So there's two things here. You can group them by archetype or damage type and you'll see that in a second so maybe you want to make sure you don't have too many pulses or you want to make sure you don't have too many precision pulses more specifically or you just want to see like what am i like in terms of damage types so let's turn off archetype um and have a look at the next section so then it's the kind of the roll quality so similar to dim and their thumbs up it won't always give you the same results but it'll give you an idea you can either just don't even filter them you can look pve you can look at pvp or you can look at polyvalent um, which basically means I want weapons that are good for everything. And as you've probably seen in various tools, a lot of them do a PvP god rolls, PvE god rolls, or just, oh my god, this is amazing, god rolls. Um, I'm going to leave on these two because I think it's quite useful to see them. You can say prefer, prefer polyvalent rolls, which means that it will rank a weapon that has both you know, high quality in these in both areas. And you've got a little slider to say how important, how good you need it to be for keeping it. Best only means keeping the best. Realistically, I always end up doing something like this, but I do it manually. But you'll see that in a second. You can keep the highest power level, keep it curated, keep exotics. I always keep exotics. Uh, keep if master worked. I used to do that, but I have far too much master work crap. Uh, keep if a deep sight objective. That's an interesting one. Or keep if it's crafted. I always kick that one off because... I'm trying to make sure I have the craft ones, but I have so much deep sight. I mean, it's just not worth it, is it? Keep if it's locked, remove sunset, so anything that you can't take above level. I don't always do that, actually, because I have some weapons that I like for PvP. Then you have stuff that's actually tied into dim. So if it's in a dim loadout, keep it. If it's favorited or marked as keep in dim, keep it. And then if you've tapped it as junk in the past, put it in the junk column. It'll make more sense when we start doing it. And then finally, you've got, you can turn off various options if you don't want to look at all of the weapons because you don't have the time. So, then you click review my vault. We're not going to talk about armor initially. We're actually just going to go through and have a look at my weapons. So, I've got the setup ready. I can always go back and reconfigure it, um, but I am ready to start going through my weapons. So, let's hit review my vault. Okay, so... As you can see, what we end up with, we're looking at auto rifles here, and you can kind of jump between those ones. So if you want to go bows quickly, you're bows. You can go back to auto rifles. It will remember what you've done. At the moment, I'm just grouping these by uh, um, type. So these are stasis auto rifles, solar auto rifles, arc auto rifles, kinetic auto rifles, and so on and so forth. Wow, I do not have many void over rifles, but don't worry because I have got some really nice gnawing hungers. I'm going to go back to config and I'm going to turn on group by archetype. And the reason I'm going to do that is to show you what it shows there. So you'll keep. I'm keeping more things because the groups are more specific because I want to make sure I have at least one high impact stasis weapon. And who doesn't, right? Um, at this point, I can see there's a duplicate here. This is not as good as this weapon, but it is a weapon that I've crafted. So eventually, this weapon will become this weapon, so that can go over there. Basically, anything on the left, you keep. Anything on the right, you get rid of. 
These buttons make it quicker if you've got a lot of things to move. And because I look after my vault, and you can tell that, right, there's not that much in the right column. And then you occasionally come up across something like this. I've already decided I want to trash that. Um, apparently, this is a better role than this role. But actually, I like this role. So I'm going to put that back over there. If you disagree, comments below. Please try not to be too harsh. Over here. So this the reason these two sweet sorrows have been kept is because this one has a higher PvP role at 60% than this 20%. But let's be honest, I'm not using sweet sorrow in PvP, so that can go over there. And I'm jumping onto pulse rifles. And you can imagine I go through this and da 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 and obviously you're gonna see a speeded up version. I'm just gonna keep flying through these and kind of having just a general, you know, I've got too many peace of minds, but they're just so good. I go through, I look at them, I make a decision, I want to keep at least one of those. I honestly can't get rid of half these cantatas. I have far too many. It's worth saying as well as hovering, if you click on one of these, it will stay there. So you can see what the perks are, you can have a little browse around, you can even mark them with tags in dim but we'll be doing a video about how tags work across what's becoming the entire ecosystem dim is kind of positioning itself as the hub where it knows what kind of what you want to do with those things across the, the various tools and it's really really cool to see the interactions between them so we'll jump down we'll hit scout i'm not even looking at this point because i'll be honest i'm not going to pay that much attention to whatever it does at the end anyway and we go through and we get to the end so before I talk to you about what you do when you finish this process, let's have a look at the other side of the fence. Let's talk about armor. So if we were in the config section for the vault cleaner and we turned off weapons and we turned on armor, bear in mind, as soon as I click next, I'm going to lose all the work I just did. And that's fine for me now. But when you're doing it yourself, maybe get to the end, finish it and then do your other side. So. In terms of the config options, we've got keep exotics. We've got keep the various things like best total stat, um, keep raid armor, keep the current season armor. There's a whole bunch of little options there like trip 50s, um, stats greater than 23, um, triple 15s, balanced stats 65 and above. You can change that to a different number. So I'm going to go for 66. Uh, if it's already locked, keep it. Again, get rid of your sunset stuff. And the same stuff about tags. If you've already tagged something, it can respect those tags. So let's review the vault. So obviously, um, I've got all of the exotics on the left there. Uh, but sometimes, you know, spot maybe I've got two of these. But I can see quite quickly. This is high powered. But this is trip 15s. It's got the best total. And it's a 66 plus. So you can probably go. And when we look at them, two recovery. It's hard to get around, right? I mean, it's only eight recovery, but 18 mobility and two strength. And I'm, I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest. That's probably the one I'm going to keep. When you're not talking about exotics, though, you can see I've spent quite a bit of time with my armor. This is a 59. This is quite clearly an infuse roll. Um, I don't need that for anything. This one here, not really sure why I'm keeping that one. Probably because it's a nine banana weapon. And that's quite clearly just for infusing. I'm kind of agreeing with everything. You can see there's a few archived options that I have put... Um, I've kept, but I've kept someone that, that, you know, archive doesn't mean that much to me, to be honest, in the way I manage my vault. That's obviously ready for, to be uh, infused. Yeah, that, I already knew that I had to go. I just haven't got around to getting rid of it. You know, that it's life. But you can see a lot of these are 15, 20. Um, not much doesn't have um, a little marker underneath. And the reason is I look after my armor quite a lot. So these are generally pretty good. This one has a very high strength. This is basically being kept because my only tusked allegiance vest i don't do that much psyops so maybe i need to do more so you jump through one for each character if you run one character it's a lot quicker so far i'm actually agreeing with these results so i'm probably just going to do what it says to be honest and that's the beauty of the vault cleaner it's designed to give you the answers that you need to the questions so now we're on to the final stage and that is cleanup. so what screen do you get there what you'll see is this screen listing all the items that you're about to get rid of um, and it says items to delete. Don't worry. It doesn't delete them. In fact, there is no way for an app in Connected to Destiny to delete your items. They can put mods on. They can move them around. They can tag them. They can do all sorts of things, but they can't delete them. So you are safe. All it actually does is give you three options. You can either lock or unlock those items, which is the old way of doing it. And then obviously you won't delete anything you wanted to keep and you can delete anything that you can delete. Um, or you can tag them in dim so you can tag items that are in this green box to keep as keep or tag items in this red box up here 
to delete as junk. And I actually clicked junk before and forgot to show you what I was doing. So that's already happened. If we head over to dim now, what you'll see is tagged as junk are all of these items. Uh, it hasn't mucked around with any ones that are tagged as infuse. It's just marked the junk ones. And actually, when I look at this, I go, do you know what? That is probably an infuse. So I move that over to infuse and it jumps out of there. 1557. Yeah, I might. I might infuse that so I'll move there 1555 maybe not so much 58 yeah that could be an infuse uh what else I've got 57 probably an infuse 59 oh yeah definitely uh and then the rest of that is probably junk but let's be honest I'm probably not going to throw away these god roll peace of minds because I am a hoarder so then you get to that stage you can delete it you put them onto your character and you get rid of them and you are clear and free and you don't have a vault that only has one space in like mine so Hopefully you found that interesting. Hopefully you found that useful. That was uh, Destiny Recipes Vault Cleaner. Uh, if you aren't as much of a hoarder as me, this tool will get rid of a majority of your stuff super quick. Help you make those decisions and get you to a place where you can farm the real god rolls rather than keeping the maybes like I do. If you have found that useful and you made it through to the final 13th minute, oh my gosh, longest video yet, then it probably at this point you like what I'm producing enough to do the thing. Um, the awkward thing that I don't want to talk about, but you know what I mean. So if you get a second, I'd really appreciate it if you would uh, do the thing and maybe tell other people you did the thing and then they could come, they could watch the videos and they could do the thing as well. We could all do the thing. Do the thing. Thanks.